You know the drill, it's that time of month again where I go out and test out numerous of different applications for our Apple Watch, even though the Apple Watch by itself out of the box is an amazing piece of hardware, but here are some applications that will take things to the next level. So if you're new to the channel and this is your first video, I highly suggest subscribing because I pretty much cover this every single month. If you missed the previous videos, there's a playlist that will be in the video description down below. So now with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So for number one, this first application, it's called Bear. And it's a uh, note taking application, which honestly already went ahead and replaced my Apple Note app. I've actually been using this application now for taking notes. If you're somebody who's like me who's constantly taking notes, with Bear, they give you a lot of tools that the native note application doesn't give you. This application is free to download, and the overall look is really elegant. You have this toolbar right above the keyboard that allows you to slide to add bulletin points. Excel sheet style kind of documents, you could do that. Highlight certain things. The undo button. It's basically like Windows Word. You practically are given all the tools. And then anything that you type here on the application will automatically be synchronized on your iPad, your iPhone, even our Apple Watch. And if you select your notes and you wish to add more, you can actually use dictation or scribbles to continue adding text. You also have the basic 3D functionality if you force touch. And if you go back and you need to simply add another new note, you could simply just add the little plus and use dictation or scribbles once again to add. It gets quickly synchronized across all your Apple devices. And if you go all the way down, there's this funny looking little bear down here. But that's bear in a nutshell. So the camera application that's found on the Apple Watch, it's good. It gives you shutter controls. It automatically launches your camera app. It gives you all the good features, the features that you need, except for it does not switch to video. In order to switch to video, you actually have to go out there, reach out, grab your phone, and switch it to the video. And then it's gonna update on the viewfinder that you're now in video mode and you can hit record. But if you wanna switch back to photo, you can't do that. You once again have to go out and grab your device physically and switch it from there. But if you do need this feature, there is one application that will automatically switch automatically. And this application is called Camera Plus. It doesn't automatically launch the camera application when you launch the app on your Apple Watch. You do actually have to launch the app first on your smartphone. But once you do that, you could launch the application on the Apple Watch and then you can see the viewfinder right there live. Now there is a little bit of a delay. This delay could be caused because I'm on beta 6 right now on watchOS 6 and my device is also on a beta iOS 13. But the main feature here is the ability to actually switch from photo and to video. And as you can see, you can also focus on your subject by tapping on the screen and take the shot all right here. You can also 3D press to find all the common controls. But if you're looking for a camera shutter application that allows you to take photos from your wrist and allow you to also switch to video and photos, this is the application you want to go ahead and check out. Near me is the next application I want to present to you guys. And uh, what this application allows you to do is search anything that's close by to you. So if you're in a new city with a friend, family, or you're at a work site and you're unfamiliar with the area and you're trying to look for like something like a cafe or nearby Wi-Fi, with this application you can simply just launch it and search by the category and it'll automatically search what's nearby in your location. So if you want to find like a nearest cafe, those usually have Wi-Fi, you can simply just tap on it and everything just loads really quick. It shows you the distance they are away from you and if you tap on it, it will actually give you the direction. You can find bus stations, car rentals, the list just goes on and on. SoundHound is the next application I want to quickly show you. And what this application does is basically it will identify the song that's playing nearby. But it does more than just identifying the song. If the song is still playing, once it identifies it, it will actually follow the lyrics right there off your wrist. And then once the song is identified, if you go on your main device on your iPhone, you have the ability to quickly add it to your Apple library, Spotify, YouTube also. And you can also use this as a complication where you can simply just tap on it and it will right away try to identify whatever is playing. This method is a lot quicker than asking Siri because you don't have to actually speak out loud. You can just simply tap on it and it's already going to know what to do. Activity Tracker is the next one, and this application, yes, it's a uh, fitness related application. What I like about this one, than the standard activity one by Apple, it has a much cleaner UI. 
like all your stats are right there your steps your calories underneath that it will give you the graph on what hour of the day were you the most active and then underneath that it will also tally up the entire week no need to scroll down like you would on the activity one by Apple and there's also support for a watch face complication as well ever wanted to make your own watch face check out this application it's called WC a W C face my bad you literally can make your very own custom design with custom text and such so right now we got a title we can insert it so let's say beer I don't know why you can change the background color if you want a bright red hit the check mark you can change the text color as well you can also browse online and see what the community made it's really weird but I mean like you get full customization features and you can save the image once you're satisfied. Now it's in your library. Editor's choice. Let's see what they got here. This one, this looks really cool. Let's go ahead and save this image. Of course, you can change the font style right here. You can make the text larger. You can line it up, center it in place. And you can also insert your very own custom images as well. Pinch and zoom. Invader Zim is coming to Netflix, so I think this is appropriate. And then we don't want to upload it. I'm just going to save it. And now it's saving our images. So now, so now if we launch our Apple Watch app and we go to watch face, select photo, add the one we just created. And now when we go to our watch face, there it is. That was actually really cool. You can also add emojis right there in the text. So if you want a quick, cool way to quickly to customize your Apple Watch, definitely do check out this. But if you want to step up your level and create some awesome animation wallpapers like this, you click the little eye card above this video or click for that link in the video description down below. I do a full tutorial on how to do that. But moving on, Complication 2 is the next application I want to show you. What it basically does is it allows you to create your very own customized complications. Now, they could be anything. It could just be an image. If you have like a blank complication and you just want to fill it up with some kind of icon or image of some kind, you could do that. But you can actually program these complications and do separate things. Like they could be anything like a reminder. They could be a sheet sheet for work or a countdown for like a certain day, like a wedding, for example. If you have an upcoming wedding, you can simply just tap on it. It'll tell you how much time is left. There's like a ton of different icons and such. There's a big library you can choose from. You also have like a single color one, the non-color. I don't know why they say non-color. It's clearly blue and white. And they have to like every single season of the day and etc. You could actually add custom images like you could upload a photo that you have on your library. But for that it does require you to pay a subscription, a dollar a month. But you not only get unlocked that feature but you also have the ability to also allow these complication messages to last a lot longer than just one hour. You could actually leave it there infinitely. I can see this application being extremely useful. Let's say there's a passcode at your job and you have a hard time remembering. Well, if it's like a security password, you can actually write it down right here in a complication, tap on it, and then you have quick and easy access to that passcode. You also have the ability to also program these complications on the Apple Watch as it uses dictation for text, and you can also delete the other rows. Health Face is another application that allows you to create some very own personalized complications. Just however, instead of just being images, this will actually give you numbers related to health. When you launch the phone application, you can create new rows for your widgets. This does support new widgets that you can add on your smartphone. If we want to add hourly stand to also be a part of our stats, simply tap on it, give it permission, and now we have that new row. You can change the color for the widget but we want to go into the Apple Watch side. Here you can actually shuffle through different Apple Watch bands to allow it to resemble your Apple Watch. If we tap on our complication tab right here, this is a preview of all the watch faces that support the complications and allows you to pre-test it to see it all right here to see how it will look like once it's complete. And to edit one, you can simply just tap on it and you have these categories to choose from. If you hit activity, you have a bunch of different activities you could add. You can change everything from the icon, the color, you have all the tools right there. You could also just, you could also make like a custom schedule too if you like. I can easily go over 30 minutes covering everything about this app, but to keep things simple, let's just quickly create a calorie tracker. So let's simply tap on one, let's click on the activity row, hit active energy, and let's change this to calories. Let's give it all the permission. 
Then on our Apple Watch, on that same watch face that we were editing, once you select the complication, you can see it right there with the progress bar. If you click on it, that row for our widgets, here's the extra row that we added. So yeah, all your favorite stats can be all located right here and you could adjust everything to your liking. Swift Keyboard is our next application and uh, this thing basically allows you to actually have a full keyboard when replying to messages. So unlike the standard message app on the Apple Watch, we're only limited with dictation, scribbles, and emojis, sending one emoji at a time. With dictation, you have to be loud, people around you are going to hear what you're saying when you're going to reply. With scribbles, it can be sometimes inconvenient because you're going to make some mistakes and you're going to go back and correct some of these if it's going to be a really long sentence. But with the shift application, you have a full alphabetical order keyboard as well as a full row of organized numbers. And down here, you can also add emojis. So you can add as many emojis as you want. You're not limited, like the Apple Watch will by default only allow you to send one at a time. You can add as many as you want on this one. And when you're done replying, you can simply just tap send. It's going to automatically switch to the text message app. Select the number that you want to send it to, and then that's it. If you may imagine, this application is really useful, especially when you're in an environment where you don't want to talk to Siri or say whatever you got to say to reply to somebody. You can just type it in right there silently, and you're less likely to have any issues whenever you're using scribbles, correcting some of those mistakes. Now for my friends are lifters and we lift. You're going to really like this application. This application is called RepUp. And how this application works, it will actually keep track of your reps. So if you're about to hit a PR, and all you want to focus on is form, but you also want to make sure you hit the number of reps you said you were going to hit, RepUp will help you keep track of that. With this application, it will also tap you as soon as you hit the rep goal. So the layout to this application is really simple and I like it. As soon as you launch the app, you can simply just right away tap on it, adjust it to the amount of reps you want to hit. You could adjust it by 5, so 5 plus, or take away 5, or you could actually use the crown wheel and you could add a single digit rep. So since the Apple Watch is on the wrist, it's going to do an excellent job counting reps if it's motion that involves your elbows, your wrists, like dumbbells, curls, preacher curls, some cable machines, bench press, incline, decline, doesn't matter. As long as the movement is right there on your hands, it will keep track of those reps. So once you hit the reps that you enter, the Apple Watch will actually tap you. And when you're done with your workout, it will actually synchronize that data and log it all in in your health app, and that's including calories. So if you're a lifter, definitely do check out this application. I think you're really gonna enjoy it. But uh, anyway guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Again, if you missed some of the previous videos, be sure to check out the playlist, or some other very useful applications you might have not been aware of. And also, check out the other playlists I have dedicated for Apple Watch games. And of course, links to these applications will be linked in the video description down below where anybody could easily go ahead and click on them and find them. Anyway folks, that's about wraps up this video. If you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. Really appreciate if you actually leave a like, that helps out the channel a lot. Get subscribed, especially if you enjoy these kind of videos. And don't hesitate on sharing this video with a friend or a family member who might also want to know about these applications. But that's going to about do it for this video again. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.